Hey everybody, so today is just going to be a quick video on how to make a show password button in Power Apps. So first off, um, if you ever need to in some of your apps you have this enter username and password. Uh, I haven't come across this situation yet but it does happen. So right now if you just click play username and your name and your password and right now password you know I just type anything and it doesn't look like a password so there's this feature on power apps where if you click on this text input box you can go to the where is it? mode gosh there it is right in front of me um, so we have single line multi-line which kind of wraps it around it's going to keep going down on different lines and then we have password so if you look at password start typing it's going to put up the little black dots so something that i've seen in other apps is there's always when you start typing something there's this button that you can click and it'll show you what your password is so we're going to kind of replicate that today so i'm going to type in there password and like I said, this will be a quick, easy video, so it shouldn't take too long. So I'll, usually it's like an I or something like that. So the closest thing I've been able to find is I think this little, where is it, search icon maybe. You can put in whatever you want, just like a button or something like that. We will be using a button though. Put in that, maybe change its color to red. And now we're going to add in a button, and I'll tell you why in just a sec. First, what we're going to do is going to make it completely over the icon. We're not going to have it say anything. Change its fill to... Change this alpha value to zero. It's going to make it so you can't see anything. Or you can go over and click this little guy here, and it'll show all zeros everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and do that, but the button is still going to work, but you're not really realizing there's a button. And I use a button because buttons let you have this property. So if in a formula, you can say if this button is being pressed. So if I'm pressing this button, do this. If I'm not pressing this button, do that. And icons don't have that. They have an on select property but you can't reference it to if the icon is being pressed or not that's why I have the button overlapping it and something you also have to remember is the button over here has to be on top of the icon if it's below it's going to be when you click on it you're going to be clicking on the icon but if you click if you put the button on top of the icon when your mouse goes over it you're going to click the button and another thing you'll have to do is change you know the press color and hover color to whatever you want right now it's going to look kind of weird it's going to be blue but basically on select actually we don't even have to do anything on select. so we're going to go back to our text input and our button is button five I'm doing some other stuff so i got so many buttons and we're going to go over to our mode again i couldn't find earlier I'm going to click it right here bring up this so I'm going to do <clears throat> is say if button 5 dot and here's this property it's called dot pressed and it's actually pretty cool it's pretty useful um, if you ever end up needing it and this is the only time I could think of you needing it but you could put it in other things besides this password idea this is kind of the closest the most relevant thing I could think of but you can do this with other things too maybe you want to show something for a second when you're clicking on something and they're not show it but so if it's pressed we want to do text mode set the text mode to single line and if it's not pressed we want it to be password so we'll just put that in there for you and let's go try it out so I got my password in there See, so you can, you'll have to change if you go, I won't do it now because it's kind of 
uh, self-explanatory, but you can change the hover and the pressed color and everything so you're just clicking on, it looks like you're just clicking that icon. Or you can just have a button and say see password, show password, whatever you want to do that too. So you'll click on it, it'll show the password, let go, click, let go. So it's pretty cool. Um, you can also do this with other things like maybe I wanted to set the visibility property of this guy over here. Same formula. If true. Actually, if we do you say button five dot press because if we're on visible, it's going to say it wants true or false. Button five dot press is going to say uh, give us back a true or false. So we're going to do button five dot press. Play. And there you go. Maybe you want to show like a secret thing or whatever you want to do. But that's it. So hope that guy that helped you guys out a little bit. That property can come in handy sometimes if you want to show something or hide something or whatever you want to do. So hope that helps. Um, I'll be posting hopefully about a video every few days or so on just some other tips or ideas that I can have. But if you want, comment or uh, subscribe to see more videos if you are just looking for some more help with Power Apps. So thanks for watching.